What's up, traders? It's Nico, MIC. <laughs> How many takes am I going to do with this thing? What's up, traders? It's Nico, inefficient market from uh, NIC. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Three times a charm. What's up, traders? It's Nico, inefficient market with NYC. Uh, this is my re trade recap for today, Monday, October 29th. Yep. I traded two names today. Uh, but before we get into that, I'm not licensed, I'm not registered. This is not investment advice, even if it sounds like investment advice. I'm sure you understand. Um, so I traded two names today. I traded solo off the open. Uh, let's see what I did there. Do, 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 do. So we got a nice morning push in uh, pre-market. Um, I was all about just figuring it out. I mean, big gap, really big gap. And uh, we held, we held uh, VWAP right in, you know, s s kind of survived into the open. We started to come apart a little bit uh, just before the open, test test the this recent low in pre-market. But uh, then then the open happened and we got some, some wild uh, range here, uh, you know, up and down and then back up, I think, or back down or something, I don't remember. But um, anyways, I got short playing off this uh, pre-market level just above six, ended up, uh, you know, near top taking it and then uh, ended up bottom taking the cover. Um, so, you know, great, great trade there. Um, and then I tried it again when we pushed up and I thought, well, I'll still play. I think, you know, it's still applicable to play off this, this recent high in pre-market. And, uh, so I did, I got short again and we went back down to test lows, but I didn't cover any this time. And then we stood up on this rising volume pattern, um, right up to VWAP. And I thought maybe given the thinness of how it trades that we might be headed up to test these, these highs instead, and we might go higher. So I locked it all in, um, small profit on the second trade, uh, and, you know, got to sidestep a lot of, you know, a, a, a bit of a headache here. So that kept my, my mental clarity good. And once we got here and started testing the 675 level where these wicks are, uh, from pre-market, the pre-market highs, I wanted to see how price was responding. We got some really good volume coming in here. Um, this candle though, this red candle right here was a little interesting because we, it got whacked, you know, it was like almost like, are we going to stuff here? I was wondering, uh, but we did press higher, but as you could see, I, I kind of, um, didn't trust the up move here and, and thought there might be a good short trade in it. I wasn't sure. Um, but I, 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 I got in there and uh, I, I started selling. So um, I got some, uh, I, I hit some bids, got my, got my size back and uh, short, you know, not, not too far after I got this nice, this nice down candle covered some uh, went lower, covered some more. I was trying to be a little bit more patient, went under VWAP, covered some more. The reason I'm paying myself on these and locking in booking the profit is because uh, if we bounce off VWAP, I want to minimize my risk. I want to take, you know, book some profit um and be in a better position a better mental state um than being full size and not bouncing but we never ended up bouncing um much at all so i never really got a chance to recycle even though i kind of wanted to on this trade um but sometimes it works out sometimes it doesn't we went under vwap i covered more um then it was like we kind of held vwap here but that was just you know playing off this and didn't really hold we went lower and I covered, I covered the rest of it. So it was a great trade, um, you know, to, to kind of create my morning. I mean, yeah, it was a great trade. I mean, these covers down here, sub six, uh, at six, little, little more than, you know, low sixes and, and sub six, uh, that was like an 80 cent, 90 cent. Um, those are 80, 90 cent, uh, covers for me. So yeah, really good, really good. Um, not complaining, not complaining. So traded that. I left it alone for the rest of the day uh, until the close. We'll get to that. And then I started focusing on U, 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 triple U, triple U. Um, and what happened was in pre-market, we got, what happened here? Okay. I'm trying to figure out. Okay. So I guess we didn't do much in pre-market, my mistake. So we open and um, we start getting a nice trend going here. And we go higher, we go lower. We're, you know, are we, how are we react, reacting to VWAP? What's going on? What's the volume pattern look like? Um, let's zoom out on the daily and see. Yeah, that's right. So, okay. So the reason I took this trade is because we get that nice trend off the open. 
But if you look on the daily, I mean, at least for 2018, any day that we've got volume going, we've just got uh, candles that I don't know if we can. I guess I got to zoom in a little bit. Sorry. Here, let's try this. Yeah, it's a little better. So on these days, we have um, volume come in. And look what happens on the candles. I mean, the, the, the daily tells the story. The stock's unable to uh, hold gains. You know, it can't stand up well. It's uh, it's kind of the drunk guy at the party who tries to stand up, and then he just sits himself right back down where he came from most of the time. So uh, when you see a lot of that on the daily chart, it doesn't mean that that's what's necessarily going to happen, but uh, it certainly can. And if it doesn't, you might want to step out of the way, you know, use price as your guide always. So um, as you can see on these volume days that we came in here, we closed, uh, you know, geez, what a move from two to 360, almost 350, and then all the way back down. Uh, this volume day, you know, another top wick, this volume day, another top wick, this volume day, another top wick. You see the pattern we're seeing here. Uh, this volume day, we gapped up high, wicked a tiny bit, but closed, you know, with a solid red bar, closed upside down. Um, this volume day, nice top wick and closed lower than where we opened because so same story. And big volume day today. Today was a little curious. I mean, you get a lot of rotation on this kind of volume. Uh, that we saw today, but um, same story. Daily told the story all day long, intraday chart. I mean, the you know the daily led the way the entire time. So, um, so let's see. Back to the open and our trend. Sorry. Uh, so we start trending. We get lower highs. We get some. Um, you know, we're kind of wedging somewhat. We're triangling here. Uh, we get a wick. It tries to stand up on this volume, it can't. We go lower, we fade a little bit, new lows. Uh, lose VWAP a little bit, not much. Reclaim it, kind of hug it, flirt with it, get back above it. Uh, then we start seeing, uh, you know, pressing on these wick, wick ties again. And price is letting you know, okay, this thing's not exactly dead too much. Well, I was kind of playing, uh, watching this, and I was like, well, we're not too far from a VWAP here. And I don't know, you know, like I was looking at this price level, in the 80s right here this line um where we wicked you know price came up failed it pulled back tested it failed it pushed up through it but couldn't stand up slammed back down into the range failed it i mean it is price is clearly struggling with low 80s high 70s here and we got some issues we got some issues going on here and uh once we got here we 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 pressed up you know we're testing these these uh highs off the open um and we did okay, we did okay, but we got this candle and we started going to the lower lower boundary of this this channel, this range here. And but we held it, we held it, price held it, and we stood up and kind of waked here. And that's when I started on this volume. That's when I started thinking, you know what? I think we're gonna have. I think we're. I don't think we're gonna fail these 80s right here. I don't think this is gonna work. And I think all the longs are gonna get scared pretty soon. And we're gonna smell some. I'm gonna smell some supply. I think I smell some supply, and we're gonna see some selling co start coming in. So, I started getting short. Um, I was providing liquidity on these. I think I might have whacked a couple bids. Uh, don't don't exactly remember, but um, I got good size on. And uh, to my dismay, man, I mean, we got this volume push, this candle, and I was I was kind of a little too patient on this. I wish I had a quicker cut on this, a quicker cover. Um, kind of eat this in the 90s uh, would have been great, but. I didn't. I was wanting to wait a little bit and see whether this would end up stuffing or not and reversing, but it didn't. And we stood up more on even bigger volume and I ended up covering uh, just all of it on the top of this candle because uh, I had some good size on and I wasn't going to just let this, I wasn't going to get stupid and just, you know, see what happens, even though I did kind of like see what happens a little bit, but um, just enough to see if we'd stuff, but we never reversed. So I ended up eating, eating the loss on it. When we got this volume, though, uh, this candle, we started, you know, we were up here. It felt a little lofty, and I thought, all right, this might be the uh, fake news push, you know what I mean? Like the squeeze that um, kind of shakes out all the weak hands, including me. You know, I ate this, I ate it at the top of that candle where we wicked. Um, but when we got here, I was like, you know what? This might be bullshit. I, I, this might be it. This might be the top. And I, you got to put risk on to find out. Um, and there's nothing I love better, so... I, uh, I, I whacked some, some bids here and, and got back my size and we, uh, proceeded to, I mean, we got some really nice volume on that, on that candle too, which is great. Um, 
And then uh, when we got the next candle and went right back into this range, you know, notice how close we are to the 80s. So I was pretty certain we were going to test 80s. And if we tested 80s, I definitely wanted to see, uh, you know, that means all this problem areas here that we struggled with before, that starts coming into play all over again. Because like I said before, uh, rocket ships are not supposed to go back to their launch pads. And when they do, if you're long, if you're a bull, uh, I don't know about the other bulls, but I know if I was one, I would be a little, it's it's concerning. It's a red flag and uh, you're much more willing to start selling when you're going, hey, this isn't, you know, where's where's the squeeze here? We were up on highs, you know what? This isn't good action. It's the price, it's all about the price action. It's all about the price action. So um, really glad, you know, I ate like a little too patient on this cut, but I ate like a uh, 20, I don't know, um, gosh, like 80s average almost, it looks like 80. 180 and then a little over two like a 20 i don't know 21 cent 22 cent loss here for me on some good size so uh yeah i didn't like it but you know i didn't i wasn't gonna roll over and just quit for the day you know um and i got i got in there and smelled and man the trade was really showing me price was really showing me that i think i think i want to exercise some patience here i think you know once we're we break down into this range once we start testing it if this works I think we're headed lower here. This this could be this could this could pay me nice. Um, we and then it was all about seeing how we how we responded to VWAP. So uh, we went sideways. We tested VWAP. We stayed under. We flushed a little bit. Um, got down under. Tested the sixties, dollar uh, sixties, high dollar sixties, and then went back up. Tested you know VWAP again. I'm always watching this. I'm waiting to see. You know, notice we didn't just die off these eighties level. Notice we we fail it. We come down. We test it again from the underside. You know, that would have been a great spot to add, a great spot to add or even take the short if I wasn't already in it because um, it's it's much safer at that point. You know, it, it's seeing are we going to reclaim VWAP, you know, solidly? Are we going to get some good volume coming in here? But we we didn't. We never did. And we failed it. And we, we got this nice reversal and this nice candle here. Um, and we went back to test the, the high dollar 60s here. Uh, but we held and pressed back up to view app, you know, and it's like I had my my I, was, I had my risk in mind the whole time, you know, because I was I was waiting to see if are we going to stand up from view app here? Because if we are, I'm out. I'm booking my profit. And, you know, it, it basically I might get net a small win on this, but it's it's not much uh, if we stand up from view app because I'm just going to cut it and I'm going to I'm going to take it off and I'm not going to deal with this thing um, going back to highs because at that point when you're this far into the trade. I mean, my thesis is this should not be standing up off of VWAP. I'm not looking for this to. The best that it did was it got up to $1.80, which was fine because, again, guys, that was my level over here to the left. I, you know, I'm fine with it seeing, I, I'm fine seeing how it responds to that level. And uh, it failed it, which is great. You know, I want to see a whole bunch of fails there. That's, that's fine. That's just confirming my idea. That's confirming that I'm on the right side of this trade. I still feel good about it. I still think this is going to work in my favor. I'm keeping it on. I'm being patient. I'm not going to cover any here. Um, and, and that's what happened. So um, we go and then we, we get some nice selling here. Then, then we get some real supply coming in. Um, taller volume, red volume, and we go lower. And we go all the way down to a buck sixty. Um, at that point, I might have been gone already. I put a stop order in, profit target, and um, a stop loss order. I think at the time I had my stop loss order just above two um, because I had to take my kid to daycare, um, and uh, I had to I had to leave my 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 trading rig. So I had to get going. So I, um, I set some stops on this trade. I didn't have like crazy insane size on. I had enough size that I was comfortable just using um, you know stop loss orders and profit profit target order and um that's that's what i did and by the time i got back i literally got back and i was checking it um while i was you know out and about um of course only after uh, i dropped my kid off at daycare and um you know i was checking for my phone and i was seeing that you know what this is going this is going my way this is great uh and i even like contacted uh the guys at um at Cobra and I was like, Hey, can you, uh, lower my stop loss? Because, you know, I was just so, I was getting so in the money on this trade. I, I wanted to lower my risk. And I think I lowered it from just above two. And I think I told them to do just above that 1.8 level again, that 1.8 level. And I think I might've done like 1.84 or something. I don't know. Uh, cause I figured if we went back up there, I don't want the trade anymore because we shouldn't be going back up there at that point. You know what I mean? That would be major red flag for the short. Um, otherwise that just leave it alone and let it work. And we ended up hitting my profit target, which was in the, 
uh, mid fours, I think. Um, so great second trade, love this cut, got the reshort on it, got my size back and just nice and patient for the, uh, you know, what is that? A, um, for 55, like what? 60 cent, uh, 60 cent, uh, profit here on the, on the, on the reshort. So really happy about that. Um, let's see what, I think I left it alone the rest of the day. I did. I did. But you did see that we faded lower. We did get all the way down to the 24. So I could have made another, you know, 20 cents on this thing. But uh, I took the easy meat. I, I took what it, I took what it paid me easily. And I didn't need to stare at it all day, even though I was staring at other stuff. But um, I think if we go back to solo, I did end up trading solo into the close. Um, and what happened was. So I think we already went over this trade, did we? Yeah, we did. OK. Um, and then we started going lower. We started fading. You got lower lows. We got lower highs. We're well under VWAP, well under VWAP. I mean, what are the odds of this thing going back to high a day? You know what I mean? This thing is kind of dead at this point. Uh, when I'm looking at this thing, it's like, well, you know, we're not just going to fade off into oblivion maybe, but, uh, you know, maybe a, a, a VWAP test is in the cards. Maybe we get up a back, back above five and, and maybe we get near VWAP. You know, it's kind of starts starts becoming a thought in my mind. Um, and, and I was just watching it uh, develop. Let's see what I'm doing here. Sorry, you guys. I'm not the best with navigating around Sterling. So we got the higher lows. Uh, we got a failed new low here. Uh, and then we started getting a new high, a new recent high. And then you get the uptrend, back up testing these, these uh, highs. And, you know, kind of same story. We hold low here, push back up. We get near VWAP. Now, we never touch VWAP, which is interesting. We get near it, uh, one, two, you know, maybe three or half, and then three or four times. Um, but we never get up up there, and we can never, you know, it's just kind of we're we're we got this high. We, you know, I could draw a line right here. Uh, we got a we got we you know the wick ends here. We got these candles closing and opening here. We got wicks here, and we got uh, an issue here with. So we clearly got something going on with this 5.15, 5.16 level. 5.20 that kind of that, that level there something something's going on there um and that's an issue so uh you know we get some supply stepping in the bids drop off whatever it is we're not we're not pressing higher from there but uh you know we're going sideways and you see price get uh lower low you know holding and then we get lower that's fine we go down to the 4.6s we ramp all the way up like 40 cents to the last time we test that high and then we get a slam candle and you know what that means is yeah we're falling back into this range so we're range bound right now we're going sideways and i'm starting to think you know um the more we hang around the bottom of this channel now this is a thin trader so this could be uh somewhat risky and it was i mean this is one of those things where you can get a big move really quickly and you're you're in the trade and you know what whatever happens happens but uh you got to have risk in mind you got to anticipate that the thinness level and how um you know just because something's channel bound and you're within a certain range and the volatility is what it is it doesn't mean that it can't open up and get more volatile and you know you might see some larger range so if you're used to it trading uh you know like in a 20 cent range what is this trading yeah something like that um 30 cent range you know, once it starts opening up to either side, up or down, you can start seeing some taller candles with more volume. And if you're sized for the range, you got to be careful because once we start standing up or falling apart, uh, you don't want to be oversized if it's in the wrong direction for you. So uh, I see a lot of traders do that. They size for the activity of the range that they're in, which is fine if they are willing to adjust their size when price starts going against them. If it goes in their favor and they're oversized, you know, I, I don't know. Some people might say that's still bad. I mean, at least it's in your favor. But I mean, definitely when it's against you, uh, if you're, you know, if you're sized for range and then we start moving quickly in the wrong direction for you, if you don't act quick uh, and reduce size and start, you know, taking that risk off, it's going to hurt really fast. So you got to be careful on these thin names. Um so uh, we hung around these lows and 4.8s, and that's when I just like, I started smelling supply here. We stood up here to the 4.96s, but we never quite made it back up to five. And we caught here and I just started whacking bids because I was like, you know what? 
I, I just, I smell supply coming. I think, I think longs are going to start bailing soon because I don't think they're going to be happy if the price action starts going south. And I thought there was decent odds that we'd start going south from here. I was wrong. We did end up standing up and I had to protect myself. Um, I took most of, most of it off on this cut uh, and I put all of it back on and more once we never got back up over this wick. You know, once I was like, you know what, this feels safe to me. I think we're about to roll lower here. Um, and I, I put, I got, I got bigger. It was easy to borrow today. I had to be careful with my size because it was easy to borrow. It was very easy just to whack bids and really put some good size on. Um, but you know, you gotta be careful because it's thin and it's easy to borrow. And you know, these things can trap really easily. Uh, it worked out. It didn't end up trapping and we, we had, we had it lower and I think I got some nice covers on it. Um, it's, we closed here. I got some covers that these ones were really interesting. Um, I don't know how this happened. I got covers that weren't even on the chart. <laughs> so I got covered lower than, than Sterling tells me the data went. Maybe, excuse me, maybe those were legit covers, uh, and the, and the candles just not there, but or otherwise I feel bad for whoever was on the other side of my trade because uh, that sucks for them. But um, yeah, I, I got the, I got the cool covers there. So uh, sometimes weird stuff happens in the market. You see stuff like this, but um, sometimes it's a data issue. Sometimes there's just weird shit that happens anyways. Um, so yeah, so I took it off. This is way longer than I wanted it to be. Sorry guys. I babble. I'm going to try and keep these shorter in the future. Um, unless you guys like it long, let me know. Um, but uh, just kind of babbling, sharing my thoughts, the process of what I was thinking as the candles are developing, price using price as the guide, the volume patterns, where we are in relation to VWAP, what I was thinking, you know, just all that kind of, all of the above. Uh, so I wasn't able to get rid of most of it. I was able to get rid of most of it uh, into the close, but I still had a little bit put on and I ended up covering this top in pre-market, which was just so pathetic because we ended up going so much lower. Um, you know, I covered like up, like in the above 50s in the 60s or something and uh we went all the way down we broke four so bummer there but i mean it's still a great trade i made like i don't know 50 like what is that 30 cents from 80 cent average maybe to like maybe a 50 ish average um so you know a good 30 cents on that trade you know really really great way to end the day and, and those are the two names i traded and that's how I traded them. That's what I was thinking. I hope this is helpful. Uh, please let me know. I love it when you guys leave comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll see you, see you guys next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.